Hello friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome again to another JavaFX video tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to look at the File Chooser dialog. File Chooser provides support for standard platform file dialogs. These dialogs have the look and feel of the platform user interface components, which is independent of JavaFX. A file chooser can be used to open dialogs for selecting single files, for selecting multiple files, and for selecting files to save. The configuration of the displayed dialog is controlled by the values of the file chooser properties that are set before the corresponding show dialog method is called. This includes the dialog's title, the initial directory, and any extension filters for the listed files. Let's go to Eclipse and see how this works. Next thing I'm going to do is create three buttons so that we can execute the file chooser dialogs. Button, open button, equals new button, open. Button, save button, equals new button, save. Button, multi button, equals new button, multi. Organize our imports with Control shift o Then I'm going to create a horizontal box, and I'm going to add a horizontal box to our flow pane, which is the root of our scene graph. hbox, hbox equals new hbox. With spacing of 10 pixels, hbox dot get children dot add all open button save button multi button and root dot get children dot add hbox we'll right click on our project run as Java application, and we should see three buttons, the open, the save, and the multi. Now we're going to add an action event handler to our button. So let's go to the open button, open button, dot set on action, new, event handler, action event, we'll add the unimplemented method, do a little cleanup, import the action event, and here's where we're going to add the code to execute the file chooser. File chooser, file chooser, equals new file chooser file selected file equals file chooser dot show open dialog and we specify the owner so I'm going to use our stage object as the owner Let's organize our imports. Now when we click on the open button, a file open dialog should display. So we have a file open dialog. We have a default title that says open. We have the default folder, which in this case right now is this PC. And we don't have any file extensions that we can use to filter the list of files that's displayed. So let's go back to our code. So let's set some of those values 
for the properties before we actually execute the show open dialog. File chooser dot set title open my files. Next we'll set the initial directory file chooser dot set initial directory new file c colon slash files correct the spelling now let's run one more time we click on the open button now you can see the title is open my files and the initial folder or directory is in the C drive and the files folder and it currently has three text files listed. Next we'll create a couple of file extensions for our file open dialog. Extension filter ex1 equals new extension filter text files and then we provide a list of the extensions asterisk.txt there's only one in this case but you can provide as many as you need you can also create as many extension filters as you need and I'll create one more extension filter ex2 equals new extension filter all files asterisk dot asterisk now that we have those created, we have to add them to our file chooser. File chooser dot get extension filters. Dot add all ex one ex two. Let's run that. We'll click on the open. Now you see again the title, open my files. We go to the files folder and we have some extension filters on the right. Click on the uh, drop down and we see the two extension filters that we created. Just text files or all files. In this case, it's the same thing. This is where the extension filters will show and you can choose those to filter the list of files that you have in your folder to only those that you're interested in. Let's look at actually how that's returned and when we choose a file so we have the selected file that's returned and it either returns a file or it returns null if nothing was selected. If, since we can have a null, selected file not equal to null sys out open file sys out selected file dot get Let's run, open, we'll select test2, click on the open button, and there we get the file that was selected, test2.txt. Run it again, and if we click on the cancel button, nothing happens because what was returned from the file chooser dialog was a null. The process for the save button and the multi button is exactly the same as for the open button. So I've just filled in some code for those. Let's look at that by running the code. 
click on the Save button. We now have Save My File. The folder we've selected is the same. And we can click on that, or we can provide a name for the file to save. We click on Save. Already exists if it's there. Do you want to replace it? We'll say Yes. And we'll say Save File. And it shows that we're saving test3.txt. Now, the only difference for multi-open from the original open is that multi returns a list of files. So let's click on the multi. We're going to select all three of these files. We'll click open and multi open file and it shows all three of those files. As always, the code for this project will be available on GitHub and I'll leave a link to the project code in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future videos when I release new content. Thanks for hanging out again today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.